Hello everyone, welcome back in another video. So yesterday I promised you to set up a full YouTube channel together. Setting up your channel is quite important for views. I tried it before, like just randomly posting or setting up your channel. Like setting up your channel really helps on the algorithm and on YouTube makes making sure you are not a bot. Anyways, uh, with that being said, let's get started. So for the banner of the, you need simple banner to be honest. I made this using uh, Canva. Just subscribe, please, and thank you. And for the profile picture, I've, I've took this from Pinterest. Also for the name, I generated this um, using ChatGPT. I'm gonna change it to Calmi V V O E. So. And you know VOE where did it came from? Versus one edits. Basically, and also here on the description of your channel, you know, and uh, that's it for the channel customization. Uh, now for the settings which is really important. Uh, for the general, you need uh, the currency, US dollars or whatever helps you. The channel here, country residence, I don't usually put it until I get, uh, I start getting monetized or something, so don't do it now. And for the keywords, so people find your channel, basically. This just, uh, just write what you do on this channel. For example, for me, I edit and uh, your name of your channel you can add a lot of keywords but uh, it doesn't really matter so these two edits and call me well that's it for the advanced settings uh do you want to use set your channel as made for kids yeah you put now google adsense if you have a google adsense link it uh, leave this also advertisement leave, leave it clips if you want the viewer to uh, your viewer to clip your content or reuse it, you can check this. If you don't want to, you can uncheck it. I check it out anyways. It's like uh, if someone reused your content, it's like free advertising. So uh, features eligibility uh, standard YouTube features channel is rejected. Okay, uh, here it allows you to put videos more. Uh, 15 minutes long videos and thumbnails and live streaming and for that you need to verify your phone number and I have phone number but I used it on my previous account so I can't but I advise you to do it um, and for this you for a valid ID and you should do it too uploads default if you have uh, I don't know if your if your videos are the same has the same title which is don't do it. Uh, for the description, if you, uh, here's this. For three to five hashtags, I don't advise you to, to write a lot in the description unless you are making a long form content. So one, it's edits and the two others is gonna be, for example, if I'm editing football, I'm, I'm gonna add football. If I'm editing, for example, Cristiano Ronaldo, I'm adding Cristiano Ronaldo, that's it. For the visibility, it depends. You can, for example, uh, for example, on my top drop channel, I put this on unlisted because I upload on my phone and then when I go to, to my PC I re-edit everything and uh, and I put it on public so this depends on every single one I put it on unlisted usually for the tags I don't really advise you to put tags unless you are doing a long form videos for the shorts you don't need this you need three to five hashtags that's it advanced video uh, advanced settings standard to license or uh, creative common attribution this uh, basically creative common attribution is allowing others to use your content and standard youtube license is uh, not allowing them to use your content uh, category well since i'm doing edits it's entertainment and choose your category if and if you don't really know you can just ask ChatGPT. Video language is uh, 
usually English so I'm gonna English. that's it community moderation uh, these doesn't really matter uh, here you block keywords and uh, specific channels you can redirect to my channel uh, this doesn't really matter to be honest doesn't help so if you're done with this you just basically hit save then you go work on your edits uh, I recommend you high quality edits uh, the duration from okay depends actually depends on your editing style but uh, around 30 so from 20 to 40 it's perfect and focus on high quality edits anyways that was it for today if you have any topics that you want to discuss or you want me to explain to you you can comment and i will make a video about it or you can just join my discord channel and ask questions there and i believe everyone will answer you so that was it for today thanks for watching and see you next time